What's up everybody? This is Mr. Second Passport. Today I'm going to cover the biggest speed trap in Ecuador. The one that catches me almost every single time I pass by this place. And if you know me, if you've ever been in a car with me driving, you know I drive literally like a grandma. I don't see the point like my dad used to tell me, you know, all these people in the world risking their life, rushing, rushing home just so they can get home and watch TV a few minutes earlier. You know, that's kind of how, I, how I've always looked at, uh, at driving fast. It's like, yeah, what's the point? The place is Ambato, Ambato, Ecuador. But let me explain. Right, it's kind of hard if you're dri if you say you rent a car and you're driving around Ecuador or you live here and you drive around often, it's hard not to pass by Ambato. As you can see, it's it's like where I'm from in the states, Ohio. The slogan, the heart of it all. It's it's kind of right in the middle of everything. Um, you know, right in the crossroads. If you want to go from Quito to Guayaquil or from the coast to Quito or Quito to Cuenca, chances are you're probably going to pass through Ambato. The real problematic areas are uh, the on these roads around Ambato, where most travelers go. Not the people that actually live in Ambato, in the, cent in the centro, right, in the center of town. But around here, as, as the people go to Baños, right, the roads that cut off here to Baños, uh, a popular tourist destination, or the roads that go north-south from Quito to Cuenca or Guayaquil, uh, the biggest, the big cities in Ecuador. Like what you see are these like radar points that tell you how fast you're going. Some of them will, will nick you, right? They will take your photo of your plate and then email you or the owner of the car. Uh, usually, sometimes days, sometimes weeks later, uh, the ticket. But um, the ones that get you around Ambato are different. They're hidden. They're like on little posts. Sometimes like it almost seems like they're in trees. I've kind of looked at the pictures that I was sent. And uh, I mean, it sucks. And I had to pay to give you an example. The last one I got, last time I passed by Ambato, I was four kilometers, not miles, kilometers over the speed limit. And I they got me for $150. Uh, U.S. Uh, first time offender. Well, not in Ambato. It almost seems like every time I pass by Ambato, I get a speeding ticket. If you're renting a car, you will get a nice little email like this one I got saying that, hey, you've gotten this citation here, that citation there, and then they'll just automatically deduct from your credit card on file. Right? And you can look at it. This is the citation I just got when I passed by Ambato. And this was for, believe it or not, driving without a seatbelt uh, for $22. This was in January of this year, 2021. I had no idea when it happened. Uh, these things just take your picture and then they fine you uh, based on the plate of your car. So, I mean, it does kind of take the fun out of driving around Ecuador, to be honest with you. Uh, and <clears throat> I don't know, but for me... You can drive for months or years in Ecuador with no problems uh, if you kind of know where to go if you're living here. Um, but there are some areas that are particularly problematic. Like for me, it's the Ambato area and surroundings. Like you just, like even Quito is not that bad. Uh, even the surroundings of Quito, for some reason, Ambato seems to want to make all their money from, from people uh, driving through who don't live there. Bastards. It's the biggest speed trap in Ecuador, in my opinion, by far. Be extra careful when driving through Ambato. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button below.